Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at TarifyHealing.com. I hope you're doing really well. This is the monthly reading and it's for Aquarius for the month of June. I'm just shuffling up the playing cards. I'm going to be using the playing cards first and then I'm going to be using the Happy Tarot to get into the more specific areas of your life. So let's see what is happening for Aquarius in June. Your first card is the Queen of Spades, which could represent you. Then you have the King of Cups. Okay. And then you have the Two of <laughs> Two of Hearts. Then you have the Two of Spades. Somebody maybe wanting to reach out to you and want to be maybe they're in love with you. Maybe they want a relationship with you. Maybe they want to date you. Because I kind of see like if you know if you are represented by like the Queen of Spades, the King of um, Clubs could be a fire sign person. So that could be a Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries. And this person, I feel like they want to connect with you with this two of hearts card. So they like you. Or it could be that this is just a partnership, like a business partnership, a business arrangement as well. But I feel that you're in doubt about this individual. I think you're kind of trying to feel them out, see what they're about. Uh, see if it's the right thing for you where it's all going for you um, I feel that for some reason like you and this person now this is just what I get intuitively there's an easygoingness between you and this other person I think that this person could be a person that has some kind of authority or has a good position or like uh, standing um, maybe status wise and um, for some of you guys and I think that um, where this person is giving you love or, or wanting to team up with you you might be thinking oh yeah like he might be an all right person but you're still kind of questioning it maybe you're questioning it because you want to know if this person has more to offer than just maybe their status and you know who they're supposed to be um you know from just you know the role that they play as their career or something like that i almost feel that this could and this is just what i sense for some of you guys you might even be doubting this person because maybe this person is might even be a bit big-headed <laughs> or maybe even a bit conceited in some kind of way but then at the same time I think that you just want to take your time with this person you want to know if they're right for you or whether it's right for you to open up your heart to them so it could also be a trust issue as well like maybe you need to really be able to take the time out to see if you can trust them and um see where things go so I just think that you just don't want any drama and so I think that's why you're kind of moving slow and you're kind of doubting things a bit um so that's your playing card so let's see what i what comes out in your um tarot cards so for i'm gonna start with finances and money and we're gonna see what shows up there so for aquarius june your finances and your money you have the six of pentacles so that's a popular one now six of pentacles and the four of wands that's a nice one too four of wands and the strength card so what i see for your finances is that um in the center having the four of wands the four of wands can represent um when it comes to work it's almost like when you've toiled and you've worked and you're taking out a bit of time for yourself so it could be that you're taking maybe a bit of vacation time some of you guys this might be a, and if you if you if you haven't planned it, it it might be a good thing for you to consider it um having a bit of quality time to yourself I think that, that it could really benefit you right now. I also see that um, there's a lot of generosity in the work that you're doing. You really have a generous spirit surrounding you or uh, like in terms of the people that you're interacting with and the way you're interacting with them. So there's something in terms of money and finances where uh, you could be helping other people or people are really helpful to you at this time and but i feel like it's almost like your finances are kind of stabilizing with this middle card so and i think that um your own sort of ambition and drive has kind of led you to where you are 
I think that for some of you guys, even if you are generating money, it's it's like you get more you you get more out of the work that you're doing if you feel that there is a bigger meaning and a big purpose to it. Like I can really see that for some of you guys, you are really assisting others in the work that you do. So if you already work in a field where you're helping people, I feel like a lot of those people are really benefiting from the job that you're doing at this time. Or even if you work in a job where like, um, you could be just helping your colleagues out more and, and kind of just working better as a team and that kind of thing. So I, I think that there are good interactions between you and people that are connected to your work situation. And it's almost like you feel like you're a part of a family with those people. So I think that, that your environment at your job is a really good one because there's a true kind of like feeling of support in your works in your work environment which is very rare <laughs> in most cases like i don't see any kind of office politics or any kind of you know issues and it may have taken a while to get to that point like maybe there were points where there was drama and stuff like that but those situations are being worked out and maybe to a certain extent you had to kind of bite your tongue a bit to deal with certain situations or maybe you had to kind of you know just let certain things go with certain people in order to reach that point of really getting on with others but the strength card is kind of showing that you have allowed yourself to be the bigger person in, in situations that may have been maybe little petty things and you were just able to kind of let them go and just create this sort of to help create this pleasant environment in your workspace so that's what I see for you in terms of finances and work and um, for those of you that are in relationships <clears throat> you have the star card with the queen of swords with the ace of pentacles all right some of you <laughs> those of you that are in relationships um i feel like our relationship is becoming more serious and it's kind of interesting that a swords um uh, court card is in the middle so this could be representing you because you are an air sign but it also could be representing a fellow air sign so that could be a libra or a gemini so for some of you guys you might be dating a fellow air sign i'm kind of feeling i don't know why in some of these readings that like uh, the person that i see quite a few of you dating as somebody else as an air sign so <laughs> that's kind of interesting because i'm sure i told gemini this and so I don't know if you're actually dating a Gemini or something, but um, with the star card is saying that there's hope for this relationship. Things are being healed away. There's a really good union between the two of you. Everything is kind of in a state of kind of peace and balance when the star card is showing up. And it's just saying that you're just in a really positive space. And if there was any drama or issues that showed up, they're being smoothed over. So I kind of get the impression for you, Aquarius, that, that any kind of complications that have been showing up just in your life in general are going much better for you and um and then obviously you're connecting with this air energy and i think you're able to because it's an energy that really you know you it's you it's your element so you don't there's there's no challenge if you're kind of in your own element and so i kind of feel like things are exactly kind of how you like them with this other person i think because you are an aquarius you like somebody that is very intellectual as well someone that can challenge you kind of on a mental level as well as like a physical level and all that kind of stuff and I think you're with somebody that is exactly like that a person that is outspoken they do um, they will get their opinion across and everything like that but I think that you like their kind of feistiness and things that they <laughs> that they um, offer you <laughs> And um, but then it kind of shows that there is stability here. So you're moving into a place of greater stability with this person. So you might decide to, you know, move this relationship onto a greater commitment. So this commitment could be, you know, you finally decide to move in together or maybe you get engaged or you know maybe you're just having talks about the future or maybe it's just a little thing like, you know, where you live in one place and maybe that person now has a 
space in your wardrobe where they can put their clothes or in your closet or something like that where they can put things so it could be just a little thing like that but it's almost like a step forward to show okay this relationship is going somewhere so that's what I see if you are in a relationship already if you are single let's see what shows up for the single gem Aquarius is sorry about that Aquarius <laughs> but um you have the four of pentacles with the ten of cups with the moon card interesting so what i see if you're not in a relationship is there's a lot of like holding on there's blockages here like you're you're not ready to open up to somebody i think you're not ready to open up because um there may have been love that was lost for some of you guys that are single something may have kind of came to an end and there was it could be a situation that was kind of either filled with lies or deceit or something was kept from you I kind of feel like it could be that somebody wasn't honest with you. That's why there's all these these blockages. Like you, you find it difficult to open up to somebody because you was you really had feelings for this other individual and you really thought there was a future in 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 there, and then it didn't quite turn out the way you wanted it to. Now I feel like the reason why this may be showing up for somebody that is single is maybe you're still kind of processing those emotions and going through those emotions. And so I think sometimes you just have to give yourself that time that you need to kind of recuperate and you know when you're ready to move forward into you know another relationship then you can do that. But it's kind of telling me that there are some single um Aquarius uh that need to kind of work out those issues before they can really fully move on and delve deep into a relationship situation but that's okay you know because the moon is about cycles so we all go through cycles in our lives and so it doesn't mean that we're going to be like this forever it means that everything has its time and when you know the course has run out then you know you move on to something else and i think the only reason why um, it's kind of made this it's had this effect on you is only because you were quite emotionally invested at one point but I feel like there were some things that were hidden some things the person wasn't very genuine so yes those are for you the guys that are single um, so let's see your spirituality cards Aquarius so um you have the two of wands with the nine of cups with the five of pentacles so i feel like your cards are saying that I think on a spiritual level you're really you're searching for something you're searching for something and the next card that is following is the wish come true card so you might be just searching for more I feel like for some of you guys you're searching for grander experiences in your life I think that you're ready to pursue something with the with a sense of adventure a sense of um of uh achieving something or doing something that maybe you've either always wanted to do or something that is kind of out of character for you but it's almost like this kind of larger than life experience and i think that that is necessary for you because the fact that this showed up as your spiritual card to me is showing that something in your life you feel like is either missing or depleted or you feel deprived of so whatever area of your life where you're kind of feeling like you're not getting exactly what you need, you're not feeling fulfilled, your feeling is lacking, you're trying to figure out how you can fill that void, how you can fill that gap within yourself. And 
the I think the remedy for that is to again do something that is different do something that is out of character challenge yourself in a new kind of way I think the the, the way that our spirit um, and our soul kind of grows and evolves is by always challenging ourselves to break out of the norm, to break out of the average and the everyday things that we always do. Sometimes you just need something that makes you feel alive. And I think that that's what you're needing because I'm kind of feeling like for some of you guys, you're kind of feeling like things are humdrum and they're not really, um, you're not satisfied with things. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, um, Aquarius, in the month of June. So peace and many blessings to you. I wish you a really good June. I'll be seeing you. Bye.